Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna to explore an idea called Go First. Now Go First is a simple approach to everyday life that I found has helped me to make many more new connections, to meet more interesting people, and ultimately to live a more proactive instead of reactive life. Before we dive in, let me quickly introduce myself and this channel. I'm Connor, and I'm a teacher, writer, and entrepreneur. My work really focuses on helping others to bring more intention and focus to their lives and work. And on this channel, we explore ideas from philosophy to psychology, even to neuroscience, that can help us be more mentally resilient, more emotionally intelligent, and to achieve more sustainable performance and productivity. In this video, we're going to unpack the idea of go first. We're going to start by exploring where it came from. Then we're going to dive into what it actually is. And lastly, how you can use it in your everyday life. And if you stick around to the end, we're going to reward you with a special bonus challenge so that you can go out and try it starting today. So let's dive deeper, starting with where this idea came from. I first came across it in an interview on the Tim Ferriss Show with Gabby Reese. Now, if you haven't heard of Gabby, you're really missing out because she is an absolute legend. She was a professional volleyball player for many years and a champion at that. She's a New York Times bestselling author, she was named Nike's first ever female spokesperson. And she's also married to the famous big wave surfer, Laird Hamilton. So now let's jump in to understanding what exactly is go first. So in Gabby's explanation, she says that going first is all about sort of the attitude and approach we take to others in real life. She uses a great example of waiting in line at the supermarket where she says, you should go first, smile and, and ask the person at the checkout counter how they're doing. Or Gabby says when she's on a walk and she comes across somebody else and makes eye contact, she smiles first. And by doing this, by making that sort of simple first step in offering sort of positivity and warmth towards others, you're just surprised at how often people reciprocate. As Gabby says, people are ready and waiting to respond, but you need to go first. So why does going first really matter? Well, in today's world, we're all getting used to sort of opting out of those social interactions, right? Technology has been a big factor in this. I'm certainly guilty of it, right? You're waiting in line, you know, waiting for a bus or a tube to come and look around. We're all just glued to our phones, right? We're lacking social connection. And you know, since Gabby recorded that interview, we've now been in the midst of a global pandemic when we're having to keep social distance from each other and wear masks. So the sort of need to go first and to connect with those around us is greater than ever. Now let's explore a few different ways that you can apply go first in your day-to-day -day life. All right, so let's dive into three different ways you can apply go first to your life right now. And at the time of this filming, we are still living in a pandemic as lockdown life here in London. So I'm gonna start by giving you two digital ways that you can go first, and then end with one way that you can go first, you know, in the real world, even if you're still wearing a mask. So number one, the first virtual way to go first is to reconnect with an old friend or a colleague. You know, so often I find myself, you know, daydreaming and remembering an old memory with a friend or a coworker, but how often do I actually take a step to reach out to that person, ask how they're doing? I've found that this is a great place that you can go first these days, just reach out with a simple text or email, see how someone's doing, and that might open up an opportunity for some greater connection with that individual. Number two, 
The second digital way that you can go first is offer compliments and praise. Now, it's so easy in, to get lost in the day-to-day -day hustle and bustle of life to forget to acknowledge and appreciate people around you. I remember at Google, they had a you know, annual cycle when you gave people all their feedback and it was so busy that you hardly really got to let it sink in. So I found that looking for little moments when you can compliment someone on your team or a friend who's done something nice can be a great way to just go first. Expressing appreciation and gratitude is a two-way street, good for you, and also great for the person receiving it. The third way that we can go first is gonna be more of an in-person way. Just as Gabby suggested, I really think that offering you know, a smile and asking someone how they're doing can really open up a lot of doors. Now, it turns out that even though most of us are wearing masks, you can still notice when someone is smiling and offering warmth from behind a mask. So you can really go first, and next time you're in a checkout line or you're just waiting for a bus to pick you up, you know, just offer a smile and ask someone how they're doing today. So those are three simple ways that you can put go first into action in your everyday life, but there are plenty more ways that I'm sure you can experiment with in your own life. All right, and now to the bonus challenge. So if you made it this far, you're ready to really take go first and put it into practice. So there are two challenges. One is going to be the digital challenge and one is going to be the in real life challenge. So the digital challenge is to find five people, five friends, family members, coworkers, can be anybody and send them a message today, just checking in, asking how they're doing. Go first and reconnect with some people who you haven't spoken to in a while. All right, and for those that want to engage in the real life bonus challenge, I'm going to challenge you to say hi, hello, wave with a smile on your face to the next five people that you come across. I encourage you to do this at a safe social distance, but simply in the next time you're out on a walk or you're waiting at a bus stop, just a simple wave, a hi, hello, can go a long way towards opening up some connection with a fellow human being in this world. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you click the subscribe button to this channel so you can get notified of all the new videos that we put out. Also would love for you to you know, leave a comment, let us know what you think, any questions, we'd love to hear them. And yeah, share this with a friend or a family. It's another great way to uh, go first. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.